this is your second time on the podcast and one of the things we talked about um in mm-hmm. depth quite a bit was options that's sort of another area yeah. that i think traditionally has a lot of speculation but yeah definitely not the way that you're using it um and uh we got talking at i think it was the guy spear william green meet and greet in omaha about uh like this story with your experience with jd.com where you're putting up i think relatively small amounts of capital or um Very you'll be able amount. to you'll be able to explain it to us but um what's the story with jd.com and the that experience of uh, I think was selling it's, puts behind calls. It's a very good, it's a very good question. So, so JD.com sells an ADR in America, which allows us to buy it quite, mm-hmm. quite easily through the standard market. Uh, you can buy it through the New York Stock Exchange, but uh, part of our strategy is to purchase things for the lowest price we possibly can. Uh, and so we use a structured value approach where we write a put as a tool to own the underlying equity. <clears throat> there was a legal issue so so jd.com uh uh has has a number of warehouses and done all the logistics and is is similar in many ways to to an amazon and a fedex here in america uh existing over in in china and at one point the ceo got in some some trouble it was like headline news and the share price was plummeting uh part of the uh part of the black shoals model is volatility so volatility f- kind of feeds into the price of these option contracts. And um, when volatility is very high, the premiums of both puts and calls go up uh, because there's more uncertainty. People want more premium for the perceived risk that they're taking. The way that we use these is very different than the way that most of the market uses them. So as people are speculating or trying to sort of buy a call to sort of leverage their gain, or they're trying to buy a put because they're scared of a security. so they're buying a put when they're fearful and they're buying a call when they're really euphoric. Mm -hmm. We're taking the opposite side of that trade. So uh, as as there were these headline risks and exposure for JD, uh, the price fell way below what would be even a reasonably consideration for a for a intrinsic value of of JD. And during that period, uh, it was an interesting time. It was almost a, it's a pretty advanced approach, but instead of just selling the puts, uh, where we picked up an enormous premium, we were selling out of the money puts. We used a little bit of that, of that premium to then turn around and buy some out of the money calls because, uh, these would, these went out a couple of years and we had, uh, a long time horizon. We were very, we're very patient investors, but we basically, were able to purchase these calls ultimately for free. So we took the put premium in, we bought a few out of the money calls, and by the time the calls had expired, the shares had gone from about $20 a share to 90. Uh, and uh, so we had a, a certain amount, maybe a 8% exposure uh, in our fund, but those calls went up, you know, just an enormous amount. Um, and so, you know, we end up with a with a with a great return. In fact, we had exited with covered calls before even the original calls um, had converted to stock. So we basically did the whole transaction over about a two plus year period, wow. and um, and it was sort of infinite return because we didn't put any <laughs> capital up. Yeah. But uh, that's crazy. Uh, it was yeah, it was very it was a it was a small position that turned into. A, a very reasonably sized position and was sort of just free money. Wow. <laughs> and did you end up getting put any of the any of the shares or did it We were not put any of the was shares. Basically just moving up. So you weren't put any of the shares. You just took the premium and then the premiums actually covered the entire premium of the call options you were buying. That's right. That's insane. If you enjoyed this clip, check out the full episode here and subscribe here. Thanks for watching.